today I'm going to be spending 24 hours at the Sheridan Hotel in Detroit. Um, hopefully um, I can do that undetected. Um, I did some research online. They have a really nice big parking lot, a lot of you know places to park. And that hotel does offer um, hotel parking for travelers. So we're about 10 minutes out. And so yeah, I'll see you guys when I get there. Once we get there, we're gonna find a nice kind of stealth spot to park at for 24 hours. And then we're gonna go explore the hotel and see what it looks like inside. So yeah, we are almost there, guys. We're almost there. Uh, a little bit nervous uh, since this is a pretty big hotel, but then I shouldn't be that nervous because it is a big hotel. There's, I think I could blend pretty well. Wow, the road's pretty bumpy, but we're almost there nonetheless. We're almost there. You got airplanes flying in and out all day, so I'm imagining that I'll be hearing the sounds of airplanes all night, but that's okay. I can sleep through it. We are here, guys. We are here at the Sheridan. And yeah, let's go park. Let's go find some stealth parking. Um, this whole parking lot is not only dedicated to people that are staying the night or however many nights, but also people who are paying to park in their hotels long term a week three or four days five days it's like eight bucks to park for those days one flat rate which is pretty cheap oh my god they got a lot of people there whoa let's park somewhere else shall we we're gonna park right here for now so i'm parked right now but i'm not parked where i want to park and i always have a once you park for the night or the day you stay but i'm not staying here the only reason why i'm parked in this spot is because um right down there they have a class they have like maybe a training new employees and there's like 80 people outside so where i want to park is where they're at in the parking lot training so i'm waiting for them to leave so that i can move my van and park for the night and we can go exploring in the hotel but uh kind of let me give you a glimpse of what the parking lot is looking like i just pulled in and then, uh, yeah, let me show you what the parking lot is looking like. This is the parking lot. So let me kind of do a 360. I like it because it's a lot of vehicles. And there's the Sheridan, you know. So this is a nice area. I could tell it's going to be, uh, it's going to be, I don't know, it'll be peaceful to sleep because I'll hear planes coming in and out all night because if the planes kind of fly in from here and they go over, so hopefully we can catch a plane while we're sitting here. Oh, there goes the airplane. Look at that. They've been flying through all day. So that's going to be so cool. That's like the third one or fourth one that's flown over me. But anyways, I'll catch you guys when I'm parked and kind of where I want to be at for the night. Okay, they're leaving now. Can you see them? They're leaving all those people were over there once they leave i'm gonna park right over there by those trees there's a nice parking spot that i'm gonna back into but look at all those people what it look like me trying to back in and park no way so once they go in i'm gonna go park hopefully nobody else is out here all right they're gone let's go so this is where i want to park at it's kind of in the back it's got some trees it's a bunch of vehicles i can blend better so i'll see you guys as soon as i park I'm going to be parking right next to that Chevy. So I'm going to show you around the parking lot real quick. Just show you kind of where I'm parked. And then I'm going to come back in here, take a shower, change my clothes. And we're going to go explore the hotel. I'm actually kind of hungry. <sighs> Let me show you where I'm parked at. Turn this light off. So this is where I'm parked nice and packed so yeah that's where i'm parked let's go back in now it's time to take a shower got a fresh cut looking 
feeling crispy, feeling good. I'm gonna get a shower. I'm sweating, as you can see. <sighs> I did three and a half miles on the track this morning. I didn't, I was out of energy, low energy. I didn't wanna do the five or six. So I did three and a half this morning and then drove straight here to kind of beat the traffic. So now I'm gonna get a shower and then we're gonna go explore the hotel. So I'll see you guys in a minute. So we're showered, dressed, and now we're about to go check out this hotel. I'm actually really thirsty and I want a snack. So I'm gonna see if I can buy something. So let's go see what this hotel is all about. Go check out the bathroom. A little lounge area. Very nice. A restaurant doesn't open till I think five. So yeah, it's nice. We have a salon, athletic training room, staff room. Let's sit down for a little bit. Let's enjoy the lounge for a minute. Please be read. Please wait to be seated. Let's hang out for a minute. So I'm chilling in the lobby and this football team is coming in. And I'm not sure what team they play for, but they are massive and I know they're a college football team and they're getting on a big tour bus and there's a sheriff and a police officer walking through. I'll try to get some footage of them. But I'm about to be nosy. We're about to be nosy. There is a pool here and from the pictures it looks really nice. I'm just trying to think, should I go check out the pool area? Or I'm wondering if you need a code to get in. But since it's daylight, you may not need a code. You may need a code after hours. So we might go check out the pool. So I've been in here for about almost two hours. And I think I wanna go see if the pool area is open. So let's go see if we can get into the pool area. I'm sitting at a nice comfortable table, stool. This is nice. All right, let's go see if the pool area is open. Well, you gotta have a card to get in. Let's go get some snacks and then head back to the van and watch a movie. I think I've outdid myself here. Nice and comfortable, but I'm ready to go. So let's go. Um, lots of good snacks, nothing I'm interested in so far. Uh, what am I going to get? Huh. I'll be back. I'll let y'all know what I buy. Got our snacks. Ah, uh, don't wanna hear nothing from the car people. I'm eating junk food today, leave me alone, leave me alone. Can't wait, I've never had blueberry Pop-Tarts in my life. So I hope they're good. I'm gonna warm them up in the microwave. And some Cheez-Its and a strawberry lemonade. So got my movie food. We're gonna go watch a movie. We're gonna relax, we're gonna chill. And then we're gonna make some dinner later on. So I'll see you for dinner time.
Here is the finished results, sauteed tofu and rice. As always, I make too much, but we'll just have it for um, leftovers the next day. It's pretty hot in here as I am trying to stealth camp in the parking lot. Um, so no turning on the AC or the gen generator. It'll cause too much attention to me. But it should cool, should, should cool down in the next couple of hours. So there we go. That's what we're eating. Mm, mm, mm. I marinated this tofu for over three hours. I used avocado oil, the honey that I bought from the farmer's market, um, teriyaki sauce, soy sauce, liquid smoke. Mm. This is so freaking good. Mm, look at that. Before I cooked, it was a lot cooler in here, but after I cooked, it's a bit warm, so I might be sweating. I also put smoked um, paprika on this when I was cooking it and cayenne pepper. So it's a little spicy, so I might be sweating from not only the cayenne pepper, but the fact it's a bit warm in here. Marinating your tofu for several hours really makes a big difference in how it tastes after you cook it. Mm, mm, so good. I mean, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, that cayenne pepper is starting to kick in a bit. Mm. I should have threw this water in the freezer. You know, I really enjoy eating my meals with you guys at the end of the day. Um, I don't know. That's why I eat my meals with you guys at the end because I just really enjoy eating my food with you. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you're eating your meal or a snack or, or something and we can eat together. is really nice. Mm. This marinade that I made. Amazing. I mean, look at that. Ooh. Mm. So far, um, I have not been bothered or disturbed sleeping in the parking lot at the Sheridan. It's been nice. Um, it's just been planes flying over all day. And it's actually been quite nice to hear the planes. It's, it's kind of soothing. Where I'm parked, I don't hear a lot of people, like, coming and going because these cars are long-term. So... They're pretty much here for a while, so I like it. One of the downsides of stealth camping is that no turning on the generator for AC 
or the fan. You know, I, I don't turn the fan on because I don't know if it's going to make noise on the outside. So I'd rather be safe than sorry. No opening the window for breeze or anything like that. So just got to <laughs> get through the, the warmth. Um, I must say that it was really hot today, but because my windows were covered, it wasn't that hot in the van. I could, it wasn't something I couldn't handle. So that was a good thing. I'm gonna make this my last bite as I am getting full. I have a little bit left um, for tomorrow and a little bit of tofu left. So I'll have this for lunch. Mm, I'm full. Ooh. The heat from the cayenne pepper and this the warmth in here. Making your girl sweat a little bit. But good thing is in about a few hours, it should get really cool outside, which will make it nice and cool in here. So it's not that bad, but it could be a little better. Good morning. Let's put some light in here. I overslept a little bit, but that's okay. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. And I slept good. Um, the only noise was the airplanes flying in and out, but that's okay because um, that noise doesn't bother me. Um, it was quite peaceful and comforting. But uh, let's take a look outside and uh, let's see the beautiful view that I have of the cars um, before I get out of here. So let's take a look outside, see what it's looking like. This is what it's looking like outside. Zoom out a little bit. I uh, had a lot of cover, a lot of cars. Um, very peaceful. Um, beautiful morning, beautiful skies. So yeah, that's what it's looking like outside. So, let me get up, make my bed, and head out of here. I really enjoyed myself. It was peaceful, it's quiet, no issues. I was a bit paranoid in the beginning, but <laughs> like I always am when I'm at a new place. But once I realized that it was safe and it was fine, I, I relaxed. But it's time for me to get up and get out of here. If you like videos like this and you want more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not. Um, don't forget to like and comment. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next adventure. Where will I sleep next? And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.